Hi, I'm Karzek, and in this video, I'll walk you through what Xanolink is and how it can be helpful for your use case. Xanolink is a feature which allows you to merge changes from one workspace into another. You can merge into one or multiple workspaces, powering you to build multi-tenant solutions on Xano. Xanolink can be helpful if you want to achieve data isolation as well as workspace separation. There can be use cases where you don't want data to be shared between clients, so you would want to have one workspace for each client. Let's look at an example of Xanolink and how this can be helpful. Right now, if you look at the screen here, we have in our instance here, we have a Medicare portal. So this is a very simple, basic portal that can be used by any medical facility to record patient information, write them prescriptions, as well as any other admin tasks that may be needed. Exploring this portal, we'll see that we have four data tables. One is for medical tests, one is to hold patient information, which have things like insurance, providers, address, and so on. We have medical tests like CT scan, MRI, and so on. And we also have data tables to hold our prescriptions that are written by the doctors as well as the users for our doctors and admin people to sign into the workspace. Now, if I have all of my medical centers into this one workspace, there can be a high chance that the data from one medical center gets leaked into the other. So we need to make sure that we separate them by workspace so that their data is completely isolated from each other. If we are to make our first deployment here, let's see how we can do that with the help of Xanodai. So we have this medical care portal ready. We want to deploy it to our first medical center. How we can do that is we'll create a new workspace for that medical center first. We'll call it medical center one. And we'll hit continue. This will give us our brand new workspace. Going back to the workspace here. To deploy it, we'll go to the Medicare portal. We'll, in the workspace dashboard on the top right, we see a KRI icon. We click on it and we'll see Xanolink as one of the options listed. Selecting it gives us a view of all of the changes that we can possibly merge. Here we can select if we want to merge our data tables, functions, API groups, and so on. We have a handy checkbox here at the top, which says auto include dependencies. This checkbox makes sure that if you have an API or a function that depends on another function, it will make sure to include that so that your API or your function doesn't break. For now, I'll just deselect both of these API groups and both of these functions as well. And I hit next. Then it asked me, what do I want to label the new branch that it is going to create in this new workspace? So this new branch, I can call it first deployment. And I can select the workspace that I want to merge it in. For example, in this case, it will be Medical Center 1, which is our new client. Once I have selected that, we have a couple of checkboxes also here. Let me come back to those. Once I've selected which workspace I want to merge it in, I can also view differences in case I have to. When I'm satisfied, I'll click on publish. And as soon as I do that, Xanolink has picked up all of my changes that I had selected and pushed it onto a new branch called first deployment in our medical center one. And we have the first deployment branch here as well. I'll quickly open this branch. And inside of this, I can see here, all of our data tables are transferred along with our APIs as we had selected earlier. None of the prescription and the patient APIs are transferred because we had deselected those. Now let's go back. Now let's add another client to our list. We have another medical center that we have to deploy this portal to. So we'll quickly again create a blank workspace. And just in a matter of seconds, I can now deploy to Medical Center 2 as well. But this time when I'm deploying, I want to deploy all of my APIs as well. So patients APIs and my prescription APIs as well. And both of these API groups have a few APIs 
that depends on certain functions. For example, we have this API that depends on get medication cost function. So when I'm doing the Xano link, this time I have auto include dependencies sel sel uh, selected. As soon as I select prescriptions API group, because one of the API depends on the function that we had just seen, Xano link make sure to select that function as well and make sure the API doesn't break when we actually go and merge it. If we select patients, we'll see that one of the APIs that depends on another function is updated as well. So once we have selected the changes that we want to add here, we can quickly click on next and we can select the workspaces that we want to merge it in. Here, I want to merge it in both of my workspaces. I'll call it second deployment. And I not only want to merge it, but this time I want, as soon as I merge it, I want to also set all of these new changes live as well. As soon as I select this checkbox and I hit publish, Xano link will merge all of my changes. And it will also, it has given an error right now saying that I'm missing a dependency. So I'll quickly go back and I'll select those data tables as well and hit next and I hit merge. Oh, okay, let me just change the branch here, third deployment, let me hit merge. And now when I go back to those workspaces, I'll see that third deployment is live with all of the changes that I want. So I can see in my medical center one, third deployment is already live. And if I go and edit that branch, I should see my functions there. So you can see both of my functions are here. My API is here. And that is the case in both of these workspaces. If I go to medical center two, and if I switch the branch, the third deployment is already live like we wanted it to. And if I edit the branch and I go to uh, my functions and see both of my functions here and all of my APIs here. So Xano link allows you to quickly make changes and push it in one or multiple workspaces while making sure that your data is isolated as well as any changes you make individually in those workspaces are also isolated by the workspace themselves. One thing I want to mention is Xano link is not a true multi-tenant solution because all of these workspaces still share the same instance resources. So you need to be mindful of that. Xano link is available as an add-on, so you don't have to be on any particular plan to add it. You can go to billing page and manage add-ons to simply add it to your plan. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.